Hello and welcome to my video in which I'm going to introduce one option to build a curved large screen for your favorite games. The advantages of the following approach is that it's inexpensive, it's quick and you don't need any specific skills to do that. So let's have a brief look to the things you need for that. For the perfect circle or curve I use an old trampoline. There is only a need for the ring. The trampoline I used contained six segments of a circle. Three I used for the upper part of the curved screen. Three others I used for the lower part of the screen. The trampoline I got is an used one found in my neighborhood for just 25 euro. Then of course you need the material for your curved screen. This is something what you can easily find in online shops. And then you need a number of standard tools to mount a curved screen. So you need hooks, screw anchors, cable straps, hook and pile fasteners, they are needed to hold together the segment of the circles later. Then you need a cutter knife and a tape, or more specifically a textile tape. I use one from Tesa, which is uh, very strong. Then you need a number of needle bricks, which I got from my son. Last but not least, you need a pencil and a folding rule. First thing we have to do is to fix the individual segments of the circle on the ceiling. I used three of the segments, covering in total 180 degrees. I used the hook and loop fasteners to attach each segment to each other. The ties I used to fix the 180 degree ring on the ceiling. Once this is done, the screen material can be fixed on the 180 degree ring. So this is the picture how it looks like. The screen material is fixed by using the textile tape from Tesa. The screen I built covers 180 degrees, but as you can see, it can be easily extended up to 360 degrees. Remaining segments of the trampoline circle are used to span the screen material. I used Lego bricks just to keep the space between the floor and the segments. And again, using the textile tape to fix the material on the individual segments. Once the material is attached, all the spaces can be removed. Let's have a look how it looks. I think that's an acceptable result. It cost were just around 150 euro and it took less than one and a half hour to build it. The future plan I have is to extend the current setup with a second beamer just to cover the full 180 degrees. Let's get an impression with the one beamer set up when the flight simulation DCS is running.